Let's be real guys, the postpartum period is a breeding ground for negative body image and insecurity. Instead of staring at our bodies with amazement and wonder like, wow, you created a brand new human from scratch, you're amazing. We stare at our bodies with a mixture of embarrassment and shame and disgust. Our bellies are gross, we're fat. Our cellulite is out of control. There's stretch marks, saggy boobs, our thighs are too big. There's no well done body. Thank you for creating this special little human for me. Let me nourish and cherish you. Instead it's, how quick quickly can I lose this weight? How do I get rid of stretch marks? How quickly can I stop looking like I just had a baby even though I did in fact just have a baby? How do I get a flat stomach? It's fucked. Have you noticed that when pregnant most women feel for the most part pretty body confident? We are so much more likely to post pictures of our pregnant belly than we are our jiggly, squishy, stretched postpartum belly. It's like when we're pregnant because we're expected to grow and we're expected to get bigger and our stomachs are expected to enlarge, we give ourselves permission to relax and eat what we want and enjoy this time and then as soon as we pop the baby out it's like oh shit now what <laughs> but before we get into it I just want to pause and say a huge thank you to this video sponsor Copilot. I am three months postpartum now and I am slowly easing myself back into exercise not to regain my pre-pregnancy body or lose weight but to feel strong and robust in my body and honestly for me more than anything else moving my body is just good for my mental health now the reason I love Copilot is because it is an affordable and easy way to have have access to your own personal fitness instructor. You get personalized workouts tailored to you, the equipment that you may or may not have available to you and your time schedule. Personally, I don't have the time or the inclination to hit the gym seven days a week. I know myself that I simply will not stick to any hectic workout regime right now. So my personal trainer on the Copilot app, Becky, who is amazing, she created for me some easy to do 20 minute exercises that I can slot into my day wherever I have a spare 20 minutes. I can use the equipment that I already have in the comfort and privacy of my own home, like like honestly, I do these workouts in my pajamas. So the way Copilot works is you go onto the app, you get assigned your own personal fitness coach. You can chat with your coach as often as you like. You tell them your goals, what equipment you have available, if any, your schedule, what kind of workouts you do or don't like. You have a literal phone call with your coach before you even get started so you can go over everything. So for me, when I had my onboarding call with my coach, Becky, I told her that I had no interest in losing weight, but that I did want to feel strong and healthy in my body again as I was feeling a little bit depleted after a second c-section you get all the training videos you need right on the app it's so easy you mark that it's complete when it's done and then you can follow through your own fitness journey right there on the app the one-on-one -on -one support you get from your trainer right there on the app is honestly amazing and it keeps you motivated and it means that any questions you might have you get answered so if you're looking to begin your own fitness journey postpartum or not copilot is a great way to get started you can click the link in the description box down below to access your own free trial and onboarding call with your own expert fitness and health coach to try it out. The problem is, is there's this crazy double standard when it comes to women in the postpartum period. Mothers who don't begin a diet and workout routine immediately after giving birth are seen as lazy, slovenly, or criticized as letting themselves go or being out of shape. When more often than not, these mothers probably A, just don't have the time to start a new exercise regime. They may not even have the resources to do so, like who is gonna mind their baby. They may simply not want to, or honestly, they may just be too sleep deprived or exhausted to even consider consider expending more energy working out. I get it. I've been there. In saying that, mothers who do hit the gym soon after giving birth are also lambasted as being vain or neglecting their children in favor of getting their pre-pregnancy bodies back. Look at the influencer Molly May, for example. She shared on her Instagram that she was working out only three and a half weeks after giving birth, which she was cleared to do by her midwife, and she was blasted by her followers. Where's your baby? Why aren't you celebrating your postpartum body? Then there is UK influencer Vogue Williams, who felt compelled to defend herself after she was body shamed on social media for snapping back into shape after the birth of her second baby. She had comments shaming her, saying that her body was unrealistic six weeks postpartum. The thing is, is that working out after having your baby is not a bad thing if you feel up to it. Problem is, is that we have been conditioned to believe that postpartum bodies should look a certain way by movies, television, magazines, social media. There's a great article that I recently read titled No Fat Mums, Celebrity Mothers Weight Loss Narratives in People Magazine. I'll link it down below for you guys. This article delves into the notion that mothers are expected to give birth and immediately just snap back into shape like she was never pregnant to begin with. And that somehow by doing so, it makes you seem more competent as a mother and that mothers who don't snap back and who still hold on to their pregnancy weight are somehow slovenly or lazy or bad mothers. This is a kind of subconscious conditioning that we begin to believe when we are bombarded with 
media praising women who regain their pre-pregnancy bodies and shaming those who don't. But the funny thing is, is that this is how women used to be depicted in their postpartum period throughout history. Full bellied, well nourished, not an ab in sight. Isn't it interesting then how our standards of beauty changed throughout the years and what is considered acceptable and expected for women in the postpartum period is so vastly different? Guys, please take a second and look at these magazine covers. These horrendous articles enthusiastically promote what can actually be seriously harmful and dangerous attitudes and behaviors postpartum. For example, this magazine article features actress Poppy Montgomery who overindulged in food during her pregnancy and as such three weeks after giving birth signed herself up to a meal delivery service which restricted her calories to just 1,200 calories per day and began exercising six days per week in a bid to regain her pre-pregnancy body. There is so much wrong with this I don't even know where to begin. Three weeks postpartum your body is still trying to heal from growing and birthing your child. You'd likely feel better simply resting and eating nourishing food during this period than restricting your calories, going on a crash diet and exercising six times a week just to look like you were never pregnant to begin with. And it's important to mention that if Poppy had been breastfeeding, restricting her calories to that point and over-exercising could actually seriously affect her milk supply. And this kind of behavior is being praised as admirable and desirable. What the heck? <clears throat> Whew. Then there's this article titled, What Maternity Clothes? Check out how these celebrity moms bounced back to their pre-pregnancy bodies in a matter of weeks. Eh? This title makes me be sick in my mouth. Honestly, guys, there's nothing wrong with our bodies postpartum. It's normal to be a little bit jiggly. It's normal to be stretched. It's normal to have stretch marks and cellulite. There is actually nothing wrong with our bodies. But it is no wonder that women feel like there is and that women feel ashamed of their postpartum bodies when you see articles like this. Okay, this one is so absurd that it would almost be funny if it weren't so bloody detrimental to the mental and physical physical health of women everywhere. This article supposedly features Kourtney Kardashian, one week postpartum sporting a completely flat belly, promising to let you in on her hunger-free diet that enabled her to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Except that she didn't, and her belly wasn't flat. It turns out that OK Magazine had grabbed a picture of Kourtney from a different photo shoot photoshopped her to oblivion, slimmed her down, removed her postpartum belly in order to promote this entirely ridiculous article. Courtney went to Twitter to clear things up. She says, I gained 40 pounds while pregnant, not 26, and they doctored and photoshopped my body to make it look like I have already lost all the weight which I have not. And then you've got the hellhole that is social media. They've actually done studies on the effect that social media has on women in the postpartum period. There's numerous articles on PubMed. I will link some in the description box down below if you want to peruse through them. It's like every beautiful influencer and their dog has grown a baby recently, ejected them from the womb and immediately sprang back into shape. No jiggly bellies, no saggy boobs, just toned perfection. Abs of steel. Perky boobs and glutes to match. Look at Emily Ratajkowski posting images like this to her Instagram with her tiny baby holding her baby in a rather precarious position in order to kind of show off her flat belly and yes she looks beautiful but it's like that is not how you hold a baby I get that you have a flat belly yes you look amazing but come on Crystal Smith who is the wife of Neo she posted this image to Instagram with the caption seven days postpartum hashtag mum of three let it be known Crystal that you are in fact a mum of three seven days postpartum and have a perfectly flat belly well done you Tammy Hembro who is the proud owner of a strong fit body and who consequently snapped back into shape after all three of her gorgeous babies and good on her. She posts plenty of pictures postpartum where her belly is flat, her bum round and her boobs perky. However, paparazzi pictures taken around the same time tell a different story. Tammy still has a bit of a belly which is to be expected and totally normal and totally beautiful. Your belly doesn't just deflate like a balloon when you give birth to a baby. She's wearing her comfy tracksuit, her hair isn't styled, she's not wearing lingerie, it's real, it's reality and she looks beautiful. The thing is, social media would have you believe that women are supposed to spring back into shape like a rubber band after giving birth to our babies. Now while I do agree with these articles on PubMed that influencers and social media can negatively impact a woman's self-worth postpartum, I don't entirely think that these influencers are to blame. Take Tammy for example. When she posts pictures of her flat belly postpartum, she gets thousands upon thousands of fawning comments like, you're a goddess, did you even have a baby? Body goals, you look amazing. But think about it. Would she have gotten the same comments had she posted a picture of her squishy, stretched postpartum belly? Would people still have been in awe at her body, telling her she looks amazing, that she's a goddess, that she's body goals? Yes, I agree that influencers and social media can have a hugely negative impact on women's self-worth postpartum, but... 
I think that our society and we as the followers are partially to blame as well. So while there are hundreds of beautiful influencers who appear on the outside to have simply snapped back post-pregnancy, I am not one of them. Like I said, I am three months postpartum after having my second son and my body is no way near what it was pre-pregnancy. I am still six kilograms heavier than I was before getting pregnant with my son. My thighs now rub together when I walk. That never used to happen. My belly jiggles when I move. I have cellulite where I didn't even know it was possible to have cellulite. But you know what? I feel amazing. I am not going to punish my body that grew me, my two precious sons, to appease society's standard of what I should look like. My body grew me, two humans, and managed to keep me alive at the same time. And I am not going to be made to feel ashamed of that. I will continue to do what I do, which is cook food from scratch, eat nourishing meals, move my body for my mental and physical health using Copilot. You can click the link in the description box down below to access your own free trial and onboarding call with your own expert fitness and health coach to try it out. I am going to treat my body with respect and if in time it wants to look like it did pre-pregnancy, that's great. But if it doesn't, that's great too. I'm just going to kind of let my body do what it wants to do. As a woman who is currently in her postpartum period, I honestly wish that we could change this narrative around what we're supposed to look like because it would just take so much pressure of women. Can we please get rid of this crazy expectation that women are supposed to grow our babies, birth them, and then snap back to having a flat stomach like immediately after birth? Can we please stop praising mothers who did snap back, not because there's anything wrong with snapping back, but when we praise them for doing so, it's almost as though we're shaming the ones who didn't. Instead, can we please praise mothers for being the epic life-giving portals that they are? Because my friends, a flat stomach shouldn't be the goal. The goal should be a happy, healthy, well-nourished, well-loved mama who feels supported and well-rested, oh, oh, if only, during this postpartum period.